Right. One milkshake, four straws. How's it going, Bobby? Yeah, right. Be quiet. He's writing a sociology paper. Yeah, what's it about? The black experience. Whew. That's done. Hey, let's hear it. Nah, you don't want to hear hey, it. Come on, yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. We'll grade you. All right. All right. The black experience. There's a word going round that's getting me down when anybody says it. It's a word people use when they just can't see that I'm a person. The word I mean is nigger. No shorter or bigger than a regular word. But what is a nigger? Well, he's always good at sports. Go team! He's always Good at rhythms, moving. Always drinking liquor, cooling. Got a big old Aunt Jemima, dumber than the whites. That right? That's wrong. Real wrong. But where did the word nigger come from? It came from hate. It came from scorn. It came from white folks so caught up in slavery they even tried to make slaves of our names. You see, when, when people know your name, it's the first step to knowing the person. But some folks didn't want to know us. So we were niggers first and people last. They let hatred label us nigger. Negro, Jungle Bunny, Spade, Uncle Tom, Sambo, Darky in the Shade, Aunt Jemima, Cotton Picker, Jigaboo, Junk Man, Pickaninny, or all the other insults used to obscure the fact that we were human beings. So with all those labels coming from other folks, we decided to take matters into our own hands and call ourselves blacks. It's short, simple, and it didn't spring from hatred. I'm black and I'm proud. I'm proud of my race. But if you're looking for a name to go with my face, just call me Bobby. Whoa.